this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to distort text and give it like a 3D look and uh, actually make it look good as well. And by look good, let me just show you what I mean. I, I don't mean just looking cool, but I have here a, 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 an image that I created already. It's just a black background with the text, the future, right? Pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this because I'm going to show you the wrong way and then the right way to distort text. Because first of all, before we do anything, the way to distort text was go to edit, free tra uh, transform, and then we go to distort. But as you can see, we can't. We can't go to distort. And there's two ways that, uh, well, the reason you can't is because the text is editable and you, you can't do it when it's editable. So you have to convert it to something. And normally what people do is they convert it to regular pixels, right? So they uh, right click and then they can say uh, rasterize type, right? And this makes your type, let me just unview this here, just this uh, rasterize type here. Now what you can do is go to edit, uh, transform and distort and you're free to distort your text and you can see that you know if you do something like this it starts looking really nice in 3D. I'll press enter and you see that the problem is that um, the edges are really fuzzy and that's because uh, initially the size of the font was uh, hold on go back here Ori originally there we go the original size was this and Photoshop is having to make up you know an, an extra size here so um, it you end up looking like this so this is the wrong way I'll just keep this for now but um, this is the wrong way, right? So I won't delete it just so you can go back and reference it. And I'll show you now the correct way. The correct way is actually to, confer, uh, to convert this into curves. So we're going to right click on it and do convert to shape. And what this will do is it will fill in with a white background and you'll actually have then a sort of like a vector mask of the text. If I click outside of it, you'll see that we have here our image just fine. If we click inside of it, it looks a little funky, but that's just because it's actually showing just the selection of your text right there, right? So uh, with the view, it looks a little funky, but that's the actual thing right there. Now we're going to do the same thing, selecting our layer mask, make sure that's selected. We're going to go into edit and uh, transform and go to uh, distort there. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did before, like so, press enter. And again, we're just going to click outside of it because having the selection there looks a little funky, the vector. So there we are. Okay, so that's a selection and let's uh, show you the comparison. So there's one, there's the other. Much better, right? Cool, I'm glad you agree. So now I'll just show you some quick, a quick little tip on how to make sort of like this 3D text, make it a little bit more interesting. Let's, uh, let's add some effects to it. So I'm going to click on that layer, go to the effects and go to Outer Glow. And with Outer Glow, what I'll do is I'll just select like a cool, like a, like a purple. Okay. Now I'm going to increase the size of this quite drastically right there and decrease the opacity a little. So we have sort of like this glowing purple going on. Okay. Now we're going to go to Inner Glow and I'm going to change the color here to like an interesting red, like so. And I'm going to now increase the size. And actually, it's not doing much because we're on screen, right? So we want to change our mode here to multiply. There we are. Okay. With the mode to multiply, what we want to do here is change the size. Uh, the size is probably actually all right. We want to drop down the opacity quite a lot. So there's just a hint of that red coming through, like so. And we'll click OK. And there we are. So now I'm just going to create a little, um, little um, reflection to this. So the way we do the reflection is I'm going to duplicate this, like so. And I'm going to do a uh, transform and flip vertical, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to move that down, like so. And now I'm going to go into Edit, uh, Transform Path, and I want to skew. And skewing just allows us, if I just grab the side handle here, it just allows us to just move this up, and all I want to do is just match it, like so. So I want to match our text so that there's an even gap. That looks all right, actually. The gap would get a little bit bigger here, and as you get a little bit onwards, then you get a lesser of a gap. Let's click out. That's looking really good like that. Okay, so now we have a reflection. And uh, where is our reflection? Right here. Let me drop this down, actually. Makes more sense for a reflection. Just 
the organization of it just for it to look down like that. Now what we want to do is um, add a layer mask to this so we can uh, have it just disappear. So we're going to click on it and you can see that now we have a vector mask and a layer mask. And now what we can do with our gradient is just apply something like this. Now you're seeing that this isn't working very well and the reason is because I'm adding the the um, the gradient and it's going from here and disappearing down but then you can see that our text is actually going at an angle so the tricky thing here and this is a little bit hard because you're gonna have to do a trial and error is to do the gradient at an angle so you just do an angle there wow I got it at first shot look at that normally you, you probably wouldn't get this at the first shot you're gonna try to get something so that you're following that angle so you get an equal amount so that it looks natural like that keep on playing with it until you actually get it right I, I actually I'm quite surprised that I actually got it at a right angle right there but until you get that keep on playing with it okay and the other thing you want to do is probably just change the opacity of it as well just drop it down to something like 40 30 percent or something something like that and uh, there you are there's your cool text of the future if you enjoyed this video show your support by subscribing rating and adding it to favorites Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.